Hey, what's up everyone, Ralph here. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 things you need to know about making money online. These are things that I had to learn the hard way back when I started my journey of making money online. So if you're someone that's struggling with making money uh, in the online world, uh, then keep watching and learn how to avoid the mistakes that I made. So the first thing you're gonna need to know about making the money online is like, what is your income goal? Like, what are you trying to hope, what are you hoping to accomplish with this? Are you someone that's just trying to make extra change on the side or are you trying to replace your full-time income? Because if you're just trying to make in uh, extra income on the side, then you can do something like online surveys right where it's very easy just you know take a survey and you just get some money but if you've ever taken one of these things they're not really reliable and in my my opinion is really not worth it but if you're trying to go the other route of like replacing your full-time income then there are a variety of different ways you can go about doing that right whether you're trying to make five ten thousand dollars a month then there's different ways of doing that so you want to make sure you have an income goal because that's very important because you once you once you put that mindset in your mind put that in your mind then you could figure out what you want to do and like how you want to go about it so the second thing is niche selection right so when when you're choosing a niche you want to make sure it's something that aligns not only with your interests but it also has market demand right because a lot of people tend to do something they're interested in but then no one no one no one really cares about so it's really hard to make money so you want to choose something that that does interest you but then also has demand in markets and usually like the three things that usually is like everyone's always um you know searching for is like health wealth and uh relationships right everybody's li always looking to get healthy uh everyone's always trying to look for ways to make money and, and people always want to be um find success when it comes to relationships Relationship. Now, those tend to be the three things, but there are a variety of things, and there are a variety of things outside of uh, outside of those three uh, markets that people are interested in. So you want to make sure you're choosing something that um, not one you're interested in, and also has market demand. And you want to make sure do your research. Uh, you want to make sure you identify your target audience, and then assess the competition, right? So you want to do all these things when choosing that niche because that's going to be very important when it comes to um, determine like how successful you'll be when it comes to making money online. Now the third thing is having patience and persistence right because the honest truth is making money online is hard and, and this is where a lot of people get get caught up because a lot of people want to make money fast so that's why when you go online there's so many so many scams out there saying oh you can make x amount of dollars in in, in, in a couple of minutes that's where people get a lot of people get caught up because they want to make that fast money but it's important to understand that making on money making money online takes time so you got to be patient and you got to be persistent so you got you got you have to be willing to grind them and put in the effort because the people that put in that grind and they're going to put in that effort they have a realistic expectation when it comes to making money online those are the ones that succeed the ones that say you know what they give it a couple months and then when, when they first hit that that line of adversity they give up and they quit so you want to make sure and understand that have a realistic expectation and understand that it does does take time so the fourth thing is skill development right like developing value valuable skills is crucial in the online world you got to make sure that you understand like whatever skills that you have um, there's a way to make money with that right any skills that you have you can find a way to make money if you don't have skills then you're gonna have to find a way to develop skills and and it's important to have those skills because especially in, the, in this online world those are the people that are successful are the ones that develop skills and they take time developing those skills and and the way you find that out is like what are your strengths and, and, and interests like what do you what are you good at like what are what are you not good at and if you're not good at anything find a way to get good at it because if you can develop some skills, it's going to go a long way in how much and determining how much money you make online. And you want to make sure you invest time in that, right? You want to you want to make sure you invest time in improving your skills. Don't just say, "Oh, I got some skills," and you just let it go. You should find ways to improve on those skills and become better because that that's valuable. People like um, people that 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 take time in developing their skills and 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 fine tuning their skills and, and adding value to um to to the online space. So you want to make sure, like, let's say, like you're you're good at what uh, you know, web web development, digital marketing, graphic design, any these things like content creation if you have any of these any of these skills make sure you're, you're, you're finding ways to get better at it and, and improve upon them now the next thing you need to know is like you're gonna have to have the online presence right and I, that's obvious if you're gonna try to make money online you're gonna have a have to have a presence online and the way you do this is through like uh, you know creating a website or a blog or being on um, part of like social media platforms right and this is and you use these pla these platforms so you can like showcase your skills right you can like bring that to the audience so they get to know you they can um, get to learn about the skills that you that you have and that that can bring value to whatever they're they're looking for uh, whatever it's a product or service so you want to make sure that you're, be, you're able to social um, showcase these skills through a website blog or any social media platform so and it's a good way to connect and build a community so you want to make sure that um, that you you create a platform whether it's you're using a website or you are you're on some like social media platform make sure you have a place where you can you know, put your on you know, put your presence out there so people can get to know you and then build up that trust so the sixth thing is monetization right 
if you're gonna make money online, you need to have some strategies on how to monetize uh, whatever it is you're doing. And then you can do that through advertising, uh, sponsored content, affiliate marketing, selling product or services, uh, membership sites, digital uh, courses, freelancing. You need to f try different things um, based on your niche, right? So, and it's good to have these things because you don't want to just rely on one source of um, um, income, right? And because that's the thing, like, a lot, I think even myself, when I got started, like, you know, years ago, I was just doing affiliate marketing, right? And I was just relying on that affiliate marketing and, and the, eventually that thing ran dry. So I had to like restart everything all over. So when you're doing that, when you're building up the, building up yourself online and making money, you want to find out how to create multiple streams of income. And there's so many different ways based on your experience level as you develop experience experience um like if you do get to a point where you're you're very skillful or and knowledgeable of what you're doing or whatever niche that you're in then you can get to like consulting and coaching right so there's a variety of different ways like affiliate marketing that's a popular thing so there's so many ways that you can monetize whatever it is that you're doing so you just want to make sure you're coming up with strategies and make sure that you understand don't rely on just one source of income and then think of different ways to make money um with your, your platform or whatever it is you're doing so just think of creating many strategies because there's so many ways once you're building up that audience there's a variety of different ways in which we make money online so the next thing is make sure you're always learning right because like this online landscape is is, is always evolving right there's so many different things that that's changing whether it's like algorithms and the search engines or just you know uh um, you know, demand for, for whatever the product or service that you're selling, um, you know, customer, consumer demand, like everything is always changing. So you want to make sure that you're, you're staying up to date with that. Like you want to make sure you're keeping up to date with like certain trends that's going on online. You want to make sure you like you're attending like online spaces, like webinars, uh, community forum courses, like, uh, just make sure you're finding ways to stay ahead of the competition. Because, um, one thing you'll learn is like, once you're successful and like whatever it is you're, you're doing, you have to have the mindset that there's always someone trying to take you out of business right? and make sure not to get complacent, right? Because once you start making that money, and you've hit your goals of, of you know, replacing your full time income. It's easy to get complacent. And that's when things start to struggle. Then you start to find out um, it's, it's, it's easy to make money. I mean, it can be difficult. It's tough to make money online, but it's even tougher to maintain it. So uh, you want to make sure you, you have that mindset that, you know what? Someone's always trying to take you out of business and you never want to get complacent. You're always trying to find ways to improve and, and, and get better. So the next thing is networking and collaboration. And this is important because building relationships and networking open doors to other opportunities, right? So, and, and a lot, you see a lot of people do this in the online space, whether it's YouTube, uh, they're collaborating with other other um, content pr um, creators. So, and it's a good thing because this is how you like expand and like um, b build up your online presence. So you want to do things like, uh, you can get on things like, uh, you know, guest posts, like online communities, uh, events. So these are things that you want to attend so you can just like get to know other people. And then you can also like uh, collaborate other people to gain their audience and and attract them to what you're doing so it's, it's important to make sure you're networking collaboration because this is how you're going to grow uh, long term so the ninth thing you want to know is like authenticity and value right now this is like one of the most important things right um, because like providing genuine value for for your audience or customer is, is crucial right that's going to determine how successful you are long term and, and and make and you do this by creating high value content uh product and services that meets the needs of, of your, 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 your audience or your customer. So you want to make sure that, and I think for a lot of people that, cause people see through the fakeness, right? When people, th when people understand, they see that when they're just being sold and that person not being genuine, people want genuine uh, conversation, right? They want the person that they're watching to be someone that they can relate to, that they look up to and say, you know what? I trust this person that, um, I like what this person saying. He's this, this person, I can relate to this person. So it's important to be yourself. Like we see a lot of people in the internet space that, that don't, that's not not themselves right they try to be like other people i think what people want especially in the online space is that they want authenticity right they want to see something that's real uh something that they can connect to because there's just so much fakeness out there they want to be like all right this person i can relate to so i think it's important to make sure that you're authentic and how you're communicating to the people that um that are watching you and make sure that you're adding value because this is what i think there's a strong desire especially with all the fakeness that's going on so make sure you're authentic and you're bringing value to the people that are, that are consuming your content and the last thing you would know is you want to make sure you're adaptable and flexible right this is like this like i said this, this place is always um the online space is forever changing so you want to make sure you're adapting to the times adapting to new trends uh, making sure you're understanding like what people want um just make sure you stay flexible because a lot of people can it's when a lot of people stay stagnant is when uh, people can like you know fail at their business you see that with companies all over the place like blockbuster right um they they didn't want to change they didn't want to adapt and then obviously they ended up out of business so it's make sure it's important to understand understand how, how you see what's trending, see what people are, are consuming, see what the demand is, and then find a way to incorporate that into, into what you're doing online. So um, that's 
a, that's something that you always have to do. And it's a good thing. It's fun, right? You don't want you want you don't want things to be stale and um and and bland, right? You want to make sure things evolve and it keeps you on your toes and make sure that you're always um, thinking about the customers first because. It's the people that, that, that don't adapt, that struggle with adapting, uh, that, uh, that struggle and fail um, long term. So just make sure you're always flexible and always um, looking to adapt. So those are my 10 things you need to know, know about making money online. I hope you guys find this um, content valuable. If you got any comments or questions, make sure to leave it down below. Hit the like button and share. And if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe. Right. So you guys take care and have a good one. Later.